what have we got here? It's a 1964 Dodge Polara 500 gasser. This is a rotisserie restored show quality with a 528 Hemi motor under the hood, 650 horsepower. But you know what? It's a driver. The fellow that uh, we acquired it from drove over two hours to get here with the car. It's got 1,500 miles on it since it's been done. I have all the information. It was a California clean, rust-free car. Uh, we have pictures of the restoration. Uh, so, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's fast. But it's a car you can drive. Go to the car shows. That's what it's for. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you find all the price tags, monthly payments on every car we have for sale. But for right now, buckle up, let's go for a spin. So what's the purpose of a gasser? And the gasser is the nickname they were given. Uh, they put straight axles under the front and it was to redistribute more weight to the back of the car. This is for going down the quarter mile as fast as possible. That's, that's the uh, story behind this. It's nostalgic. A uh, young person might look at it and say, what is that? But uh, the older guys would know what this is all about. So again, California car, clean, rust-free body, straight, clean, lines up nice. There is like a bump right here in the paint, uh, but this is all straight, has the pen star. Oh, I better get back here. Uh, trunk is straight, lines up nice, fits nice. This all looks good. I don't see rust or damage or dents. I don't see any problem areas. This is all real nice. There's a little chip in the paint that's been touched up. Clean, straight, even underneath the bottom, around the wheel well. All nice, clean. The rockers are clean, straight. The roof is real straight. Nice, clean. Some chips on the edge of the door. Opens real easy. I open it with my thumb. Shuts real nice. Straight, clean. No rust, no bubbles, no damage. It's all real nice. It is a metal hood. They put the super stock scoop on it. Uh, <clears throat> but it is stock. So these are original. They're plastic. They're a little bit aged. Here's a touch up in the paint right here. Uh, it is a uh, custom uh, copper color. I have the name. I'll get that for you in a little bit. But it is a custom color. It's beautiful. The metal flake is real sharp. All this chrome is real nice and polished. All this stainless, even the wiper arms, all this is straightened and polished. All new glass, believe it or not, all the way around. It was all replaced, has a nice light tint. And uh, yeah, continuing on with the chrome, all of it was either replaced or professionally you know, polished. It's all looking really good. The, the emblem, the new glass, it says Dodge. That looks real nice. The back bumper is redone. Tail lights look like they're really nice original. There's a <clears throat> little pitting, but they're nice and bright chrome. This looks to be real good original. So yeah, the outside of the car is looking really nice. Has the Kregers on there, skinnies in front, the big wide ones in back with Hoosier uh, Pro Street uh, tires. Why don't we open it up? I bet you're dying to see that engine. The front end, the bumper, the grill, all that looks really nice too. But let's continue the tour inside. All right, let's look inside the trunk. The color, by the way, is Hot Hues Blazing Copper. It's a pretty cool color. Painted real slick under the trunk lid and the jam are real slick. The whole inside of the trunk is nice, clean, solid metal. Also painted. It has the texture finish. Uh, it has a new mat. Underneath the mat is rock solid metal, but some of the paint from the moisture under the mat. Some of the paint did peel off, but I mean, the important part is the metal is rock solid. Obviously, the battery's relocated to the trunk. Uh, two reasons. It gives you more room in the engine, and it puts more weight over the back tires. So yeah, nice clean trunk. This car sits so high, I'm used to all the other cars that are lowered to the ground. They're slammed down, but this one sits up. Okay, so the jams are painted nice. Weather strips are all real good. The door panel's in excellent shape. They look brand new, actually. Nice clean armrest. So the dash pad's good original. 
completely custom instrument panel. It is a nice match set of auto meter gauges. There's less than 1,500 miles on the car. Big toggle switch over there. That's just for the uh, fuel pump. The uh, big super tack on the dash. This switch here is to open up the dumps. You want to really rock and roll, you open up the dumps and it, it makes some noise. Uh, the original dash pad has a, a couple buckles in it. It is a California car. Carpet's real nice. Uh, it has the racing style seat belts. The seats, they must be like re-cushioned, re-upholstered. They're in excellent shape. It's a bench seat with the fold down armrest. I think that's the perfect combination. Um, <clears throat> the back seat looks like it's all reupholstered. The side panels, armrests, all that looks new. Headliners in real nice shape. That's probably been replaced. The visors are new. The mirror is real nice. It's a tilt column with the old school style cushion grip wheel. And I'm going to show you this real quick. Uh, this has been on the uh, in a good guy's magazine there's pictures of the restoration i know we're upside down but uh, some of these will be on the website and there's a bunch of information about the rear end about the motor the demon carb all that good stuff is in this book a bunch of good information gentleman that owns it's been a really good customer of ours for decades now and, uh, yeah, he drove this here from one of the uh, Chicago suburbs. <clears throat> so it is a 528 uh, iron block. It has indie heads. Uh, the Valley Pan, I think they call that, is an indie cover. It has a polished high-rise aluminum intake. Uh, it says it's an 850 Demon Carb, so it's a big dual-feed Demon Carb. Uh, the braided lines, braided dipstick for the trans, polished valve covers, MSD ignition, and yes, this is a Hemi, I think I mentioned that, uh, chrome alternator, stainless uh, radiator hose, big aluminum radiator, he swears this car never gets hot, doesn't overheat, uh, you got an overflow bottle, you got more of the MSD ignition, you got aluminum water pump. Uh, it is manual steering, manual brakes. They are converted to disc in front. Then you can see the whole engine bay is nice, clean metal, painted very nicely, even underside the hood's painted. And this is why that scoop is on there. It actually goes through the hood. Uh, so Caleb's going to take you for a drive. I hope he can handle this one. two hours away uh, to bring it to us so definitely very drivable feels good over the bumps very solid suspension setup steering feels good it does have a smaller steering wheel on it so uh, it does have more movement you're gonna have to turn it a little bit more and there's no horn with this race style wheel. So you could always get a different style steering wheel, put a horn on it, but let's put the pedal to the metal, see what she's got. Okay, not bad at all, guys. Zero to 60, just like that. I had it in overdrive. You could always ratchet shift it uh, with the BMM shifter. But we're cruising, this thing feels rock solid. 
drive straight. I don't feel any uh, weird play in the steering at all. No weird vibrations or shakes, nothing like that. Feels really good. The turn signals do light up on the dash. They don't cancel, so you have to manually cancel them. Tack's working. Speedometer's working. All the other gauges look like they're working. Yeah, this thing's sweet. It's one of those cars you'll get the smiles per gallon, not miles. But you'll look really cool driving it, and you'll have a lot of fun. Comes to an idle real nicely at a stop. Yeah, there you have it, the Dodge Polaro. We got Max here helping today. He checked underneath this car for me. Uh, so, solid chrome axle. I think it was off a of van. Leaf springs, it jacks the car up. Looks like all the steering and suspension has all been redone. Uh, it has welded in frame rails front to back, helps keep it from twisting. It is a unibody, but that made it nice and sturdy. Uh, up front, it also has a tubular K member, the cradle that holds the engine in, uh, has been replaced. Leaf springs in back were relocated more inward for the big wide tires that are back there. Uh, TTI exhaust with an X pipe and electric dumps. Uh, Flowmaster mufflers. <clears throat> fuel tank was replaced as electric fuel pump. Rebuilt brakes upgraded with disc inside. Eight quart aluminum oil pan on the bottom of the engine. Uh, by the way, the engine runs on pump gas. It runs on 92 octane. It's 10 and a quarter to one. Like I was saying earlier, this is a street car. That was the intention. I don't know if it's ever seen a drag strip. Um, uh, 727 Torque Flight Auto. It's a level four by Gear Star. They build transmissions. It also has an extra capacity thin aluminum uh, pan on the bottom, 3400 stall. Uh, custom built and balanced drive shaft. Performance built eight and three quarter rear end with Auburn 391 Sure Grip gears. So with 391 and with these tall tires, this car will actually cruise down the road. Uh, floors are really dry, clean. Again, it was a California clean body that they started with. Uh, so there you have it. You want to go to the car shows and be, uh, you know, the star of the show and really stand out. This will do it. Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer your questions like uh, how to get this to your door, how to get it financed. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the next to see, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching. Let's go, buddy.